I'm Raj Joseph, CEO, President, DQLabs.ai. DQLabs.ai is a AL augmented data quality platform to help you manage data smarter. As you know, data is increasing tremendously. The amount of data that is estimated in 2025 is 175 zettabytes. That's almost 61 percentage than where we are. This means more and more data. More and more data means more data quality issues. And today, we are still challenged with lots of organizational privacy compliance, security, and regulatory compliance on top. Furthermore, our data management practices have been very reactive using ETLs, workflows, functions, which all takes more and more time, effort, and resources. This constant cycle of reactive approach is holding us back in terms of knowing what data is good and what data is not, and we keep accumulating more and more data. That's why we said enough is enough and went on to create a proactive-based approach using AIML, a platform, dqlobs.ai. This platform allows you to understand easily in a matter of minutes what data you have today is good and then also creates and cleanses automatically bad data into good data all in a matter of minutes. This allows you as an organization to understand the amount of data that you can trust and build effective models and reportings on top of that, which in turn helps you to increase your customer experiences, onboarding, sales, and also even target effective marketing campaigns. All in all, to increase your revenue immediately. So let's see how we do this all in a matter of minutes using a platform such as dqlabs.ai. Here is a front-end login, which buries away all the complexities and the things that we do to make your data management much more simpler. We do support single sign-on, which means that you can work easily within your authentication layer and not have another set of credentials to manage. I'm gonna log in into this. And as you can see in the very first page, you have a catalog of data sources that has been ingested within an organization. We support all different types of forms, structured, unstructured, API, and even PDF data using OCR technologies. Furthermore, we not only ingest the data sets, sources and aggregate it in one place, but also calculate what data within those sources is trustable. This is super useful when you are challenged with, okay, I have to find an attribute and I don't know what attribute to use and where it's coming from and what data source among that is good. Example here, I can use this quick search feature, search for an attribute that I'm interested in and find out these two data sources are contributing and the data quality score among that which is good and go upon using that as a source that I wanna ingest into it for my modeling or analytics purpose. Not only we do it at the data source level, but also we do this calculation at each attribute level. Every field, every attribute, everything that we come across is analyzed, looked into it to decide what is good. Let me go into this a little bit and also show some things that we do behind the scenes as the data is ingested. Here, as we, we, are, we have already configured a data coming from a customer loan application data, and this is a real-time feed that it is uh, ingesting into it. As you can see, there is lots of customer PAA data sets which is available. If you want, you can select a subset of those fields. As it is configured, the platform automatically senses the field types, the properties, the use and sensitivity of each of these attributes. Example, it identifies SSN and its highest sensitivity level around that and configures it. So this later can be treated from a data governance standpoint different than a lower sensitive element. Not only that, it configures automatically any kind of rules and checks that it needs to do. Furthermore, creates a curation library, things that it needs to do from a cleansing standpoint to turn this data into much better good data. Here is an example of how we are doing this governance based on the sensitivity I just showed you. And you can define uses a different sensitivity level based on what they can see and what they can have access to. 
So the question is, how do we calculate this DQ score? And how do we know that this is the amount of data that can be trustable within a particular data set? So here, I'm just gonna show you all the complexities that we are doing on behalf of you to help you focus on things that you need to focus from a business value standpoint. Here is an example of a first name check that we are doing. We have calculated that only 25% of this data is usable or trustable data. And as you can see here, we are doing various amounts of different checks. And here, not only do we are doing the checks, but also we are finding the flaws and showing the actual data behind it. This allows organizations and analysts to improve upon and or fix the errors in the source system or even look into it to see what could be done or remediated. Here is another example of this where we are seeing two applicants like the one in the past, we saw a business name being part of the first name consumer application. If the user wants to also reinforce the system and help it learn, they have an option to play with it and interact with it using this visual learning platform. So this is the same kind of models and checks we do for everything that we do. We have a visual learning platform where the users can interact if they choose to interact too. Furthermore, we give this insight back into it to see and understand all this root cause analysis, what we may have to do. Here is a one more example of data of prefix coming into the actual customer data. Let me go into another example, a different data type, different field. And you can see here, we are doing the checks a little bit different than the first name check for a salary, which is more of a numeric data. We are doing some contact checks. And again, some things are common, but as you can see, like, the checks we are doing is very different based on the data type we do. All in all, to figure out what data is good and what data is trustable here. Once we understand this is the amount of data that is good data and this is the amount of data that is bad, we create a curation plan and it automatically cleanses that data as the data is ingested. This provides the organizations not to worry about how much data they have or they can just focus on more on the trustable data or the clean data for any of those reporting purposes. I'll just real quick show you an example of a city information that is being automatically curated by bouncing off against some reference data. And same for a auto make, uh, which is coming as part of the loan application where we are using some sophisticated models based on similarities and distance where it's fixing all those different types of errors that it may have either because of system constraints or user errors. We are also have an ability to do curation at three levels, basic, advanced, and some reference. And as you can see here, we are doing even conversions of, uh, conversions of like different values, uh, again, back and give a curation impact percentage just to know like how much of this impact it can make by this automated curation. The user again has an ability to accept and decline and reinforce the system in terms of learning their own data culture, which is very specific to a particular organization. So as you saw, we are ingesting, we are doing some quality checks, and then we are further curating it. So once we do this curation, we are going into uh, helping organizations create any kind of models they want. It could be a reporting model, or it could be a master data management model, such as a customer 360 degree view. All this can be created on the fly. And as each and every attribute is configured as part of the model, the platform wires the backend to know how to pull the data from the data sources that has been ingested and create this. This is also available as an API and also provides a search ability where you can come simply and search and look upon whatever data uh, is the golden view record of this and pull that information. So here is an example of my information, which has been coming from multiple different data sources that has been most deduplicated and consolidated to create this. All this helps you to focus on a much better customer experience and also know all different channels of preferences that the customer may want. So to summarize and to leave some few things in your mind as we wrap up this demo, the data size is gonna grow more and more. As we are increased and challenged with more data, we will be facing lots of issues around data qualities. So we need something 
automated. We need a platform such as DQ Labs AI to manage your data smarter, effectively, and automatically to answer one question, how much of your data is trustable? And if you want to know how much of your data is trustable, you want a solution like dklabs.ai. Thank you.